So one of the most common questions I get asked by beginner drummers is, which drumsticks should I use? And I can understand that this is a very, very confusing area. Um, if you go into a drum shop, if you're lucky enough to have a drum shop in your area, you see a wall of literally dozens of different types of sticks. And if you've looked on online stores, it's the same thing. It's very, very overwhelming. But the reality of it is there's really only four sizes that you need to pay attention to. Um, and really, we start at the 5A weight. So that's the number 5 and the letter A, 5A. Now, the 5A weight is considered an average weight. So in other words, it's a good point to start. Um, we're all different in terms of how big our hands are or how long our fingers are. Um, so by starting with a 5A weight, that's a really, really good point. Um, and you'll instinctively know pretty quickly, is this too heavy for me? Is this too light for me? Or is it just right? If it's just right, fantastic. Um, if it's too light, you need a heavier stick, um, and that would be a 5B. A 5B is just slightly wider, slightly heavier. If a 5B is too light, you need a 2B. This is where people get confused because it doesn't seem to make sense that the 5A is the average, the 5B is heavier, but then the 2B is the heaviest. But that's the way the classification system works. Um, now, if you are holding a 5A stick and it's too heavy and you want to go down a weight, then you go to a 7A. A 7A is a light stick which is used for, for jazz and swing, um, but some people just prefer them because they're lighter weight. So, to summarize, 5A is an average weight, 5B is heavier, 2B is heavier than that, and then if you want a lighter than a 5A, you want a 7A. Then you see all these things about, do we want hickory, do we want maple, um, do we want oak? Um, it's, again, it's confusing, but by far the most popular wood is hickory. It's a good, dense wood. Um, if you want something a little more um, robust or, or something that will long, last a little longer, then oak might be a good call for you. Maple sticks are very, very light and you can break them quite easily. So I would say 5A hickory. Then the final question is, do I want a wood tip or do I want a plastic tip? Sometimes they're known as nylon tips. That's really down to you. There's an argument that there's a slightly different articulation on the symbols, meaning the symbols will sound differently, um, whether you're using a wood or a plastic tip. A wood tip, if you're hitting the symbol with the tip of the stick, um, the wood tip gives you a slightly kind of lower tone sound and a plastic tip gives you a very, very slight, I mean, it's really slight, higher pitch sound. To be honest with you, you're not really going to notice too much of a difference. I think there's a practical reason. I hate it when those plastic tips fly off the drumstick. It doesn't happen very often, but if you catch a cymbal badly um, and you lose that plastic tip, you can play for a while before you realize that it's gone. And the problem with that is you can end up damaging your drum heads because you're playing with a drumstick that's effectively got like, a, not a sharp end, it's kind of a rounded end, but you can do some damage to your, to your drum heads uh, if you lose the tip. So that doesn't really happen with a wood tip. Um, so it is a little confusing, but remember 5A is your average. Um, there is a written blog on this to help you as well. The link is on the page. And if you've got any questions and you need any further help, please feel free to reach out, support at drumambition.com.